Welcome, this is the TCAP slash 10 ready integrated math one practice test. We're in subpart one still, so no calculator. So if you're getting itchy button fingers, you'll have to soothe yourself or whatever. Keep yourself calm. Now, the question says the fourth term of a sequence is 108. So I might, okay, a sequence is sets of numbers following a pattern generally. Not always, but occasionally. 108. Each term after the first is three times the previous term. So each time I'm popping over, I'm doing times three, times three, times three. Oh no, you'll have to divide here. Write an explicit expression. So they want you to go explicit here. doesn't mean like it has inappropriate words in it or something. It means that you can go directly from the number of the term. So this would be term 1, term 2, term 3, and term 4. We would call this n. That's what number of term might be what it stands for. And you have a here. a means the value of the term. So when I have 108 in the fourth spot, I would say the a sub, four, a sub 4, which is for subscript. It's just a label. It's telling you a, and it's labeled the fourth value. So it's telling you which value it's looking for. So a sub 4 is 108. So I need to find some more information uh, about explicit expressions and you know I can set it up and do it pretty easily but there's a couple things I want to think about first it says times here if I was adding or subtracting something well really technically even if you're subtracting or adding negatives um, I, it would be an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic sequence as I generally refer to them but when it's times I'm looking at a geometric sequence And then you may get stuck and say, like, well, I don't know what to do. Who, where would I ever find stuff? I totally forgot the formula for this. Dun, dun, dun. Reference page to the rescue. The reference page has kind of got nothing to do over the last few years, back in the old days when we had um, the last set of tests. But now it's starting to make a slight comeback. It's its don't stop believing moment. People are using the reference sheet again. And it's still hip. So I'm talking about a sequence that's geometric. I'm just going to use this formula. So it tells me if I want to find the value of any term. That's what this means. It's like any generic term. Put in any in. We'll give you the value for it. Uh, all I need is a sub 1, which is the value of the first term. Like this is a sub 4. And then r, which is the common ratio. And then n minus 1. What's up with the n minus 1? Why is that a thing? The reason that it's a thing is you can't start applying the ratio until you get through the first term. So if we did this as r to the n, it would mean the first term would be the first term times the ratio, which would be impossible. You can't start with something and end with it unless the common ratio is 1. In that case, why? That wouldn't make any sense. It would just be the same number over and over. It's not much of a sequence. But that's kind of how it goes. So that's what the n minus 1 part means. It just means don't start applying that times 3 until you get past the first one. You can apply it to the first one to make the second one, but you can't apply it to the first one to make the first one. So that's how that goes. Basically, n minus 1, when it's the first term, is 0. So the ratio doesn't, uh, the common ratio doesn't play any part of the whole scheme of things. Now, I wrote all that down. I'm going to scroll back up. See if I can get all my stuff lined back up there. I don't need this little box anymore. Thanks for all the work that you did, though. So I'll rewrite my formula here. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Now, some of the stuff I already have, so I can start replacing it. A sub n does not need to be replaced. I'm telling you that it's a generic term. So how could you replace generic other than with generic? The ratio thing, that's going great for me, because they tell me what it is. It's 3, because they say it's times 3. So times 3. And the n minus 1 thing stays the same as well, because I wanted this to be useful for any document, or for any uh, value that I'm looking for inside this sequence. The only part I'm going to have to work for is this a sub 1 thing. So I have 108 here. I multiply by 3 every time. So to go the other direction, you simply just go backwards, and you divide by 3. So you do 108 divide by 3 and if you want to be like old school long division you know you get 3 there and 1 and 18 is 36 and then I know that 12 times 3 is um, 36 so I don't have to bother with that and then 4 times 3 is 12 
or you could just do three, 36 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so you end up, or uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so you end up with 12, and then 12 divided by 3 is 4. So there's my a sub 1 right there. You know, whatever. You could have done the same thing here with this 8 and 10 thing if you wanted to get to the 36, but I just didn't feel like it. All I have to do now is punch in that piece of data right there. And, you know, that's it. Now from here, I want to uh, make a statement about something. This is the answer. They're telling you it's geometric based on the way that it's set up. So I'm going to show you what it says in the answer key so you don't think I'm crazy. And when I show it to you, you really think I'm crazy, but I'll explain something to you. This is the answer that they're given. What? The cake is a lie, my friends. This is an appropriate setup for this set. I think I'm not, I don't even know. I don't know what to tell you. It's This is a geometric statement. I have to apply it over and over. They tell you it's times. So this may be their attempt to do an arithmetic sequence or something. I'm not really sure. So here's that. So it's got this part in it. Common difference. I think it's applying it's like applying the a sub 1 term and there's some sort of attempt at the explicit formula something but the question specifically defines the sequence as geometric by saying that it's times so don't go into this universe where it, it seems to think like well that's probably the right answer it's not really what they're asking you to do this will get you the appropriate terms and it's easy to know because all you have to do is test it know for a fact that the first term in the sequence is 4, or we don't know for a fact, we know it because we worked on it, so I guess it's uh, we can assume that it's true. You could try the fourth term if you want, because we know what that is, they tell us. So if I do 3 to the 4 minus 1 uh, would be 3, so 3 to the third power is 27, you do that times 4, and you get 108. If you use their formula, which is 4 times 3n minus 1, if I do the fourth term, I do 3 times 4 minus 1 and times 4 which gives you 44 that doesn't even work so you can't always trust what the key tells you I think this practice test was sort of made in a transitional period and it wasn't exactly as vetted as it could be as far as that's concerned and then when they got a new vendor they didn't have time to update it but there you go that thing is a mess so just be aware that uh, this is the actual answer to the question Thanks.